now second part of question number 6 for second part let it is p and it is q it is r and it is s so first of all we will find p q then q r r s and s p for p q p q will equal to square root of for this let it is x1 y1 x2 y2 then it will equal to p q will equal to square root of 3 minus minus 3 whole square beta aapki yahan mistake ho sakti hai ki aapka yahan minus 3 given hai aur aap ek minus ko ignore kar de aur aap zero likh de so be careful while doing these questions plus what will come here 1 minus 5 whole square then 3 minus minus plus 3 whole square plus minus 4 whole square from here 6 whole square plus minus 4 whole square what will come 6 square 36 4 square 16 6 6 12 carry from here root 52 or you can rewrite it as 2 root 13 units after factorization 52 will be 13 into 2 into 2 and on solving we will get 2 root 13 units now we will find qr for qr let it is x1 and it is y1 it is x2 y2 then 0 minus 3 whole square plus 3 minus 1 whole square minus 3 whole square plus 2 whole square then minus 3 square is 9 2 square is 4 and on adding we will get root 13 units now we will calculate rs rs is equal to square root of minus 1 minus 0 whole square if i am taking it as x1 y1 x2 y2 then minus 1 minus 0 whole square plus minus 4 it is 3 then it will become minus 3 whole square from here Minus one square plus minus seven whole square. One square is one. Seven square forty nine and its square root and it will equal to square root of fifty units. Now we will find SP. If I am taking it as x one y one and it as x two y two, then SP will equal to square root of Minus one minus minus three whole square plus minus four minus five whole square minus one plus three whole square plus minus nine whole square two square plus minus nine square is eighty one and from here four plus eighty one root eighty five. units then what we have seen no one no side is equal pq not equal to qr not equal to rs not equal to sp even no na na to yahan aapki opposite sides equal hai na hi sabhi sides equal hai means in is quadrilateral ki kisi bhi property ko ye follow nahi karta hai then we can say that here it is not possible to form a quadrilateral or we can write it is not a quadrilateral this is your second part of sixth question now rest part you have to try yourself